What's going on guys, Vic VP here. I don't know if you heard what I said in the last video with those EM pinball machines that I got for free 99. I did mention that that guy also gave me a couple extra things for free. This is gonna be an unusual video. Let's take a look at what he gave me. I don't know if you can see it there. That says beanie. What's inside? <laughs> All right, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything, all the behind the scenes stuff. As usual, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this little score. And no, don't worry. I'm not gonna turn into a channel that's gonna post every single thing that I get uh, for free. Um, it's not, I know this one right here is very left field. This video is not gaming related. It's not arcade related, pinball related. I'm just filming this honestly because there's, there's childhood inside of this and you'll let me know down in the comment section down below. What do you think about this? And you'll understand what I mean by childhood. Uh, but yes, don't worry. This is going to be a very quick and I know it is a left field video, but yes, Let's take a look at what's inside of these two bins. I can't, I don't know if you can see it there. Again, shooting in 4K. This says Beanie, and this says Beanie's Warner Brothers. Let's take a look at what we got. Now, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in that EM, those three EM pinball machines that I got for free that the guy had in storage. I'm pretty sure that I mentioned that he gave me this. If I didn't, he did also give me this. Awesome dude. As you can see, the pins have gone out. Uh, it's been probably like a good month. These bins though have been in the back of the garage. You've probably seen it there uh, for about two or three videos that just got released, or not just got released, but got posted. Um, yeah, it's just time to you know clear up garage space. Again, the guy was awesome. I let him know that I have a three-year-old daughter. He was like all ecstatic. He gave me a shirt for her. And then he also gave me these two bins and another thing that is kind of, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But again, there's going to be, I'm not going to make a lot of videos like this. I like to keep my gaming, arcade, pinball stuff. Um, what's inside, again, as far as childhood, I didn't have these actual things. But you'll understand what I mean by childhood once you see what's in it. Right now, my objective is we're gonna open this. I am gonna lay it out on a table. I am gonna be taking pictures of it. And basically, yes, uh, I will be figuring out a way of selling these. I'm not keeping these. My wife would kill me if I kept these. <laughs> Vic, what's inside? What is inside? Again, two bin full, two bins full of these Warner Brothers. Beanie plushie and amazingly individually wrapped in their own Ziploc bags or a pair. This right here are Warner Brothers bean bags. That's it. It says Warner Brothers Studio Store bean bags. They are two bins full of these. Now you might be saying, Vic, childhood, I'll be honest, as a kid, I loved plushies. I had a ton of plushies. I had like, I had like the, um, my bed had like the, the headboard with a bunch of like shelves and I had plushies galore. Uh, if you remember way back, um, oh man, what are they called? Cause I'm standing next to my Royal Rumble. Uh, the bone crunching action, like wrestlers. They were pretty big and you could bend the arm and you could hear the crack and you would wrestle them. I used to have a lot of like Spider-Man. Uh, Green Goblin. I had a lot of stuff. I was I was a plushie freak uh, as a kid. I loved my plushies. Um, yes. So number one, childhood wise, they are plushies. And number two, they are characters from childhood. You got Pinky and the Brain in this. We have Animaniacs. I, when I saw that, I was like, what the hell? Let's uh, let's take a closer look. Let's let's take a look at these. Okay, so. No joke, this is, I still have, like, I just have one, there's one more. This is one bin. I have to B-roll this. <laughs> this is one bin. Again, what's amazing that these are, these are not individually ziplocked, but there's like pairs. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But basically, what I'm getting at before, what I was talking about with childhood, there's a lot of childhood characters here. One that made me laugh was this right here, which is Space Ghost. Space Ghost, coast to coast. Uh, Adult Swim was like, you know, teenage years. I saw this. Mind blowing. What's crazy, all of these have tags on them. All of these. They still have the tags on them. So they are like mint brand, like they're still new. Look at this. It's got the tag on it. And apparently they, they range from about $7 to about like $12 each plush. Now this one right here, uh, the other the other bin has Animaniacs. This one has like, this Scooby-Doo's galore. Uh, let's go with the B-roll, you're gonna share the B-roll right now. So off the bat, we have Scooby-Doo's here. Quite a like, plethora of Scooby-Doo's. A lot of these like Roman, like Roman Emperor ones, Roman Empire ones. I guess the guy was a big Scooby-Doo fan. He's got this one where he's holding like a banana. I don't know what's going on here. Then he got one that he's like a, a soldier, like a nutcracker soldier. <laughs> There's, again, interesting. There's also a couple of Wizard of Oz's. Um, I'm not a fan of Wizard of Oz, so you know, you'll take a look at the B-roll on that. Then you do have like a lot of Tweety Birds. I got a lot of Tweety Birds. Different like costumes, Taz. There's also another big one. You got like, you know, three Taz. Again, this is only one bin. This is one bin. Then, like, you know, again, you have your pinky in the brains. There's a couple of pinkies. You got a Christmas pinky that looks terrifying. Looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> then you got another one. And here's a couple of Looney Tunes. Look at that, Foghorn. Who doesn't love Foghorn? Look at that. <laughs> and it's a bean bag. Again, I was big on my plushies. I didn't have these exact plushies, but mentioning before when my wife would kill me, um, these collect dust. And my wife would be like, that's a lot of stuff to dust. Look at this, Marvin the Martian. Look at that, a Christmas Marvin. What? <laughs> now I have two big bags full. I don't really know, I guess this is like Looney Tunes. I, I don't really recognize many of the characters here. But yeah, this is like sealed and I don't want to open it. This is Cartoon Network. That's what it says on the tags on these, Cartoon Network. Uh, you got a couple, like the skunks, Pepe Le Pew. I know my childhood. You got even this hairy dude. What was this dude's name? Oh, no names on him. Ah. You got the big hairy dude from like Looney Tunes. <laughs> Again, two big baggies. Oh, look, this one has Roadrunner in it. This one's got Roadrunner. I don't know how you could see it. I don't know how great you could see it. I hope you can see it. Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny, again Marvin. Oh, this one has the Animaniacs. I'm gonna have to open this. I'm too excited. <laughs> it's August and it's hot. <laughs> and I don't have the fan on here, but again, like I said, I, I just wanna open these. I have to open these essentially because I'm gonna be taking pictures of these. I'm gonna be putting them like in lots and in groups. Uh, oh. Oh man, why am I drawing a blank on the name? Why am I drawing a blank on the name? Oh, comment down below. Oh man, comment. What? It, <laughs> it's gonna come to me. <laughs> but like this, this is what I was talking about, the hairy dude. This is like, yeah, this was from like that one Looney Tunes episode. <laughs> I know, people are gonna flame me in the comments. That wasn't Looney Tunes. Look at this, who, who is this? Quest for Camelot. Look at that. And they're bean bags. Uh, again, you got like, look. You got Daffy or Donald. No, Daffy, this is Daffy Duck. Yes, I know, I know. Look at this one. Uh, Yosemite Sam, right? Yes, it's gotta be. I almost said Wiley Coyote, but that's the coyote. <laughs> this one, this is like, I see this from that game, uh, Wacky Racers. But, yeah, there's a lot. The one I was really excited to see though was the Animaniacs. That was Animaniacs' childhood. Animaniacs. Look at that. Looks awesome. Look. <laughs> They're great. They're like pristine, beautiful. Look, this is the girl. Ah, who doesn't love them? Again, it's it's. I was no joke, and it's actually funny because it went out yesterday. I was gonna put these inside the claw game, that claw machine I had. Look at that, Bugs Bunny. 
Awesome. Ah, uh, I mean, I, it's funny. I was I was filming just now the B roll, and I'm like, oh, the baggies are so shiny. You can't really like appreciate exactly what they look like. Look at the Roadrunner and Marvin. Look at that. Clean. These are like not. These are not dirty. These are clean. <laughs> these have been baggied, and like I said before, the guy told me he had them like in storage for like six plus years. Now, also, it's crazy. In this. There's actually three of them. Look at this. So these are the actual like wall hangers. Look at that. It says my cartoon pals. You could put this like on the door. Yeah, they're wall hangers. Like insane. That's one. I'm gonna just quickly skim through the second one and I'll just pull out whatever I see that's like worth seeing. But yeah, plushies. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take B-roll later on of this one. These actually are semi-individually wrapped. They're in like these three big bags. Uh, assorted stuff. We got like a Scooby-Doo like vampire. There's, there's a lot going on. I'm just trying to see if I can find anything like unique. That is a skit. That is a female Taz. <laughs> um, all right, so this one's more Looney Tunes. Uh, but we even do have a couple of like Disney stuff. Like, what is this? Again, three bags of this. Who is this? The King and I. Wizard of Oz. Again, more like Scooby Doo characters. The King and I. <laughs> what is this? What is that? <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know what it is. Yeah, the King and I. This bag is several King and I's. Elephants, Scooby-Doo graduation. <laughs> and then the last one. I'll tell you, man, this guy liked his plushies. I don't know what that is. That's like uh, the cart racer thing. Uh, this one, though, has a couple of Wizard of Oz's. Yeah, there's, there's so much going on. But yes, there you go. There is another... Uh, it's a it's a great score. It's amazing. Like I said, he told me he's like these are plushies, and I was like, oh dude, I grew up like I loved my plushies, but I never had these plushies. Um, I brought it home to the wife, and she was like, yeah, no, we you could keep them in the garage, and I was like, oh, they can't stay in the gua garage. Look at that. We got Green Lantern and Aquaman. <laughs> the last thing I want to show off before this video ends is that one thing he gave me one thing. It's actually funny. Well, the camera overheated, so now I definitely know 4K. I might not be doing it for too long because the camera overheats. But as I was mentioning before, he said to me before, he's like, does your daughter scare easy? And I'm like, what? He's like, oh, I have like this plushie. You could take it. But I don't know if she's going to be terrified of it. And I was like, all right. So he pulls out this. It was in a box with like another three characters. This is still brand new in the box. This is a cuddly rigor mortis. Never heard of it. It's got like a whole like certificate of birth registration. I looked on eBay. These sell for like a hundred bucks. And uh, I showed it to the wife and I actually showed it to the kiddo. And she's like, whoa, what was that? And then I guess she, she saw like the brain and she was like, I don't want it. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Now in all honesty, if you look very carefully, there's like over, I would say a hundred to 120 bean bags here um and each one i mean it, they got tags on them from seven dollars to like fifteen dollars um so i'm not gonna be totally greedy i am donating several few mostly like these that are in like the baggies um most of these will be donated but i will be putting them in lots i'll put them together like i'll put all the scooby-doos together and they will mostly go up on ebay i did join like a facebook group that does plushies so those are going up there as well. Um, yeah, it's a great gift. I'll be honest. I've already given the kiddo, like, I would say no joke, like 20 plushies. Uh, just teaching her like my childhood. <laughs> Definitely like the Animaniac stuff. She has a couple. Um, I gave her a Spider-Man one. Um, there was a Wonder Woman. It's actually right here. There was two of them. Yeah, there you go. Vic VP, again. Plushies galore. Just wanted to shoot this quick video. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> I'm, I'm covered in plushies.